Yes, so the IET um, and joint IMECI report about the future of manufacturing engineers shows us that robotics, automation, um, you know, mechatronics is number one, that's top. The second one is all about AI. Um, and then the third one is sustainability and lean. So those are the technical sort of harder skills. And then from the softer side, which I think is just equally, if not more important, is around communication as number one. Um, number two is all around um, creative thinking, which is massively important. And then the third one is um, the, the, the third one is design thinking, um, which you know obviously in, in engineering roles is also really important. So I, I think it's interesting to see um, for the future, for 2040, for example. I, I think we're going to see more move towards automation, robotics. You know, automating data, automating. Um, manual and physical um, activities and then actually what we'll see is that creativity is then really important because you can't automate creativity and you can't automate the design thinking you can't get an AI to do that for you so I think that's why it links in really well the, the two um, soft and, and hard skills technical skills that the report has identified um, yeah are the spot on for the future Again, um, the joint IET and IMECI report identified a number of, um, well, five sort of key trends for the future, and I'll touch on a couple of those around, firstly, energy. Um, so I think it's really important to understand how all of us can be more energy efficient um, into the future. Um, and from my side, looking after a factory, it's understanding what can we do. So we've done a lot of work at Siemens in Congleton around um, onboarding a, a gas generator, so biogas. Um, we've worked with a local community project, um, we're situated right next to the River Dane in Congleton um, and there's a weir, Havana Weir, which is just about a mile um, up the river um, and the, the, the community are doing a really great project around uh, yeah, ha harnessing the power of, of that, the, the water and we're actually going to be powering our new EV charges um, with, that, with that power. Uh, and then there's things like solar panels that we're doing and we've also got like an energy efficiency program but I think it's really important for all of us to start thinking what are the things that we could be doing around that. Um, so yeah, so also sustainable, the circular economy was one that was identified um, and for us obviously we've had a big focus in terms of designing for assembly, designing for automation but actually you know designing for disassembly which I know we were going to talk about later as well was, is, is really important and getting those skills on boarded and, and actually thinking about how can we reuse things um, in the future. Packaging is a massive one as well, you know there's a lot of packaging that's just is one use and then gets binned, you know how can we cycle that back into the whole process um, and probably transportation is another one that I pick up on um, so transportation uh, it's been really interesting in the last year obviously around the supply chains um, looking at globalization and whether or actually we're going to move towards deglobalization um, given the challenges that a lot of the supply chain has faced um, and so, so it'll be interesting to see you know that being one of the key things that's come out of the report um, will we see more onshoring back into the UK to help with the supply chain problems? Um, we saw it with the ventilator challenge, you know, wanting to, you know, we're really good at actually, um, you know, kicking our manufacturing into gear uh, and getting our engineers solving great challenges. So it's a great opportunity for the UK in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I think one of the things is around raw materials, so um, you know, what materials will we be using, what, material, what are we limited by at the moment, so we manufacture PCBs, you know, you can't make those out of plastic or of a different material, you have to have a certain amount of precious metals in there, so I suppose material sciences, you know, is going to be important, what different materials are, you know, can we use in the future to solve some of the raw material challenges. Um, and again, around the disassembly, um, I, you know, the thoughts around the reuse of, of products, you know, how once we've got products back potentially from customers, how do we disassemble and then reuse that material, which, you know, we're not really doing that as, as much at the moment. So it'll certainly be interesting in, in 2040 to see what, see how if any of our predictions come true. <laughs>